Dan and I have decided to drive south along the river and we heard some baboons barking and we are just leaping around to their position to investigate what they are alarming at. We found these baboons, they've stopped alarming. Stations, there's two sub adult male lions on the western bank of the Sand River, directly opposite Beaumont's camp. They're stationary next to the watercourse. Later. So we were busy filming these two young lions and we can hear what sounds like a warthog being killed and uh, the two young males have now just gone to investigate and so are we and um, it's going to be interesting to see what's going on there. Hopefully we can locate them quickly. Unfortunately we have to loop around and um, so luckily this time of year the the river is quite low so we can cross the some points. So what we typically do is we'll um we so we we in the place for about 45 minutes. Sometimes it takes them up to an hour to respond, as you saw. The guys, that it takes a little while if they're going to decide and, and how far they are. So we just play 10 minutes and then we wait for 10 minutes, play 5 minutes, and then just wait for another sort of half an hour or so to see. And it's, it is remarkable how they pinpoint it. Mm. Like you can be in a random position where, I mean, here it's a nice open area on the junction. And they, they will come right here. An hour later, they just, when you haven't played for half an hour, and they're just straight up. So it's a uh, yeah, it is, it is very effective. Yeah. <laughs> messing with these guys, yeah. Just so, just so you understand, they, 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 this, they, they barely noticed it. They literally bounced off and sort of looked around. And, yeah. And, and then he found the shiny up. Then he shone, found it. So that was, as you guys arrived, I was like, oh shit, no. Nah. Not only, only we disturbed your mind sighting with the line walking around with a dart in it.
doing something. We came on the couple of Friday the 10th. This is the Java boy on the eastern bank of the Sand River, just north of the conference crossing. I'm not going to be saying. Just moments after arriving or finding the Kambula Pride, they've uh, one lioness lifted her head up and started walking quite intently southwards along the river. The rest of the Pride followed suit. We're just going to follow and see where they head to, what happens from here. Notice how these lions like to walk in the tracks of the vehicle. The sand is a bit more compressed in those vehicle tracks, so it's a bit uh, easier to walk through than the soft sand to the sides of those tracks. So if they cross the river here, unfortunately we won't be able to follow them. Dan suspects that may be the case. So we looped around to see what the Kambula Pride were after. And as we got into position here, we saw two Nyala bulls running away and one lion is chasing after them. Unfortunately that they did not or they were not able to make the kill. Fortunately for the Nyala, and fortunately for the Kambula Pride. It's been a good morning. Yeah. Lions enjoying the sun on the nice sandbank. I got the others crossing the river.
This morning we got led astray with two young males in the Sand River and uh, thought they were hunting, or we thought that they were after a um, warthog in distress. That was not the case. And then we witnessed the Kambula pride hunt a Nyala, or two Nyala bulls, unsuccessfully. And there are reports of this herd of buffalo which we found here. There's all those lions in this area. Now we found the herd of buffalo, but we haven't found the lions yet. Their tracks are in and around the area. Buffalo seem to have settled down for the day. It looks like they've gone for a drink of water already. A few of them have been wallowing in this pan just to the south of us. We're just going to stand by here and hopefully hear if any of these lions run in they'll cause a commotion. The lions are certainly still in the area, we just don't know where exactly, it's quite a thick bush here.